Hey everyone, this is JoJo and I'm here to do a video for y'all. This will be my TBR for the month of September. I'm also doing going to participate in the Contemporary uh, Readathon that's happening on the 17th throughout th through the 23rd. So yeah, I will link all the information and like the the YouTube video that I saw the announcement on down below. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you first. I'm gonna show you the books I'm currently reading and like. The rest of the books would like to read it fine. Alright, so this Oh my god, why? So the first book I got here is Invisible Ghost by Robert Snyder. And this is about a girl named uh, Rose, who brother died a while, like, years ago, but he came back as a ghost. And, um, it's mostly kind of like her trying to get back, like, trying to like, live her life again, like, um, like, m more like she's trying to move on, but her brother is mostly trying to hold her back in a way, so, um, yeah, it's kind of like a, it's like magical realism with this, uh, paranormal stuff, but also it deals with, like, um, what do you call it, coming to age story, maybe, it's, I really enjoyed the story and the writing, um, so yeah, I'm gonna get, like, a few more chapters to go, and I hope to finish this before this day is over, or at least before September comes around, so, I mean, we got, like, two more days, so, get that. Next we get here is The Mortal Instrument, the graphic novel, and this is Cassandra Clare. This is by Cassandra Clare, and the art is by Cassandra Jean. This is the first volume in this uh, adaptation, and I really uh, enjoying it so far. It's a great reread for me because I read the other books before, and some great art here. Um, I'm almost done with this to get like two more chapters, and I know like the second volume come out later this year, and I'm definitely thinking of picking it up. So yeah. Next, I'm currently reading is Fence, Volume One, and this is by P. P. S. Bacat, Johanna the Mad, and Jonah, I believe. Um, Lafonette, and I'm not, I'm not really sure if I know how to pronounce that. And um, this is volume one, and this is mostly about this boy named Nicholas, who wants to become a you know a great fencer, and he goes to the school. Uh, what's the school called? Um, King's Row. And uh, they, this this school team is kind of like not as good, or like they never won a championship, I guess. And like this guy right here, he uh, name is. Seiji Kotoyama, and uh, he's like a very uh, skilled fencing fencer, and um, he goes to this school too, and they believe that their team will kind of get, you know, do better in the championships and stuff. Um, this, the beginning of the story kind of reminds me a little of, what was it, uh, Haikyuu, it's an anime, I will, I will, I probably won't link it down below or not, but I probably will tell you a little bit about it in I think I'm going to compare the trash with this uh, one at the green so yeah, halfway done. So it's good so far. Um, I hope to um, I hope to um, finish this and I hope to enjoy it. And the last book I'm currently reading is Onyx, and I agree by Mickey Arnett, and this is a YA type fantasy. And this is, um, I don't know much about it, all I know is about a book from, uh, Bernie Kate, who father tried to, who tried to assassinate the king, and she is, uh, she inherited the name Trader Kate. And she, uh, it's about this world about with night, night traits, that are some type of monstrous key creatures that prey upon the people at night. And, um, there's magic, there's a magic, I don't know what it's called, magic system, but it's like magic. People who use like uh, st war stones. And, um, there's also people who are called wilders who are very. It's like forbidden kind of magic. Or, I don't know. People think it's dangerous and stuff. So we have that. And I'm currently like right there. I'm hoping to finish this up in September before the readathon. All right. So let's get on with the readathon books I'm going to read. So I have the challenges here. And the first challenge is read, read a contemporary with orange on the cover. 
And there's a couple other books with orange on cover, but the main one I picked is Mosquito Man by David Arnold. This is a contemporary about this girl who, I guess she was staying with her father for a moment and she found out that her mother was sick. And she's trying to find a way to get back, go back to her mother head. So, yeah, I heard really good things from, about this book and I heard that it's like very sad. So, um, yeah, I've been wanting to get to this soon, so I hope to enjoy this. Next I got here is Read a Diverse Window. Read a Dark and Spooky Contemporary. Read Dark or Slash Spooky. And the book I pick is Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. This is an adult fiction of like a thriller or mystery. And all I know about this is about a single mother turned up dead. And um, I guess they're going to try to figure out how, what happened, and who done it kind of thing. So, yeah. So, um, trying to branch out a little bit. Next I got here is read a diversity I read a diverse contemporary. So I have like three books that have diversity in it. So the very first book I got here is The Miseducation of Karen Post and this is by Emily L. Danforth. This is about a girl named Cameron. I guess um don't know much about it but I think her aunt, I guess, um, caught her kissing her little girl, and her mom is like, uh, what do you call it, ultra, ultra religious, and I guess, I don't know, I think she sent her niece to a, I don't know what you call it, a camp, but a camp to fix her, um, so yeah, I think it's also a coming age story, and, um, they wanted to read this for a very, very long time, so, yeah, I know there's a movie coming out, or is it out already? I'm not really sure. I think it's coming out soon. And, um, yeah, I know this is set in, like, in the late 80s, and, uh, 90s, early 90s, maybe. So, yeah, I definitely want to uh, get to this. Next, I got here is The Way You Make Me Feel by Marine Gu. And this is about this girl named Clara, who is kind of a troublemaker, and she got in trouble, and her father, um, made her stay home to work with the food truck with him instead of going on a trip with her mom. And, um, I guess it's mostly her summer spending working with her father and spending time with, uh, this girl she thought was her enemy and, uh, I guess having, like, a, like a summer, I don't know what you call it, a summer fling, but maybe, like, a summer romance with this other guy. She is half, this, uh, main character is half Korean. like this cover, so I can't wait to get into that because I really like first, the Arthur's first book. And the last book I got here for the diverse is Your Welcome Universe by Whitney Garner, and this is about a girl who is deaf, her name is uh, Julia, and she got expelled from uh, school because she painted some type, I think, I don't know, some one of her artworks in, this, in the school, and um, she has to go to this other school where she feels more and more now fast. And she mostly just spends her time um, very painting in places. And I think her work started to get famous. So yeah, it also has a little more to do too. Alright, on to the next challenge is read a contemporary and non traditional format. So I have some work. And uh, the first are in the series, and this is volume 6 and 7, and this is called Giant Days. I love this series so much. This also has been. Um, oh, I'm going to say something. What you say? I just love this series. It's mostly about these big girls who go to college and this good life and get into the little food hijinks and stuff. It's very fun. Um, the art is nice and very colorful. I really love this series. Can't wait to get back into it. And the next graphic novel I got here is Betty and Veronica Vixens, Volume One. And um, this is I'm, go I'm just going to show you the Arthur's or the stuff because I don't know what else their last name. Um, so yeah, these are the creators. And um, this is the thing. This is mostly about Betty and Veronica forming a biker gang uh, of all female. 
and uh, it seemed very interesting. It just seemed like it's gonna be fun. Oh, that's the arch. So yeah, we have that. Can't wait to get to this. Next, we have here read a contemporary that has your initials somewhere somewhere on the cover. So I picked um, the Jane Austen Book Club by Karen Joy Fowler, and this is a literary fiction about, I, don't, I guess, a Jane Austen book club. I think each uh, character is supposed to represent a certain kind of, like, book that is uh, written by Jane Austen. In the beginning, I read a little bit of it, all of that. And, um, yeah, it's interesting. It's about book club, why not? And, um, uh, my name, uh, start, like, so my initials are J, A, and F. J starts with, jo J, J is for Joanna, A is for Ashley, and F is for Fowler. So it could be, like, the initials can be anywhere on the cover, from the title to the author's name, I believe. I don't know about any other parts of it. And, um, there's something else. It doesn't have to have your middle initials, it can just be your, your first initial and your last initial. So, yeah. First that and next we have is reading contemporary from a new author and most of these books are from new authors um this is one i believe this is one you know sometimes the like, combo are kind of like tricky uh this is another one this is gonna be this is also one All these are kind of like new authors. And the other, the main one I picked for the new author is Far From the Tree by Robin Benway. I've been wanting to read this for a while. This is a book about these three teens, or I don't know, I don't know if you can call them ch children. It's just three teens, or like young people, who were adopted separate, separately, and they found out, uh, they found each other. And they trying to, I guess they're going to like search for their parents, like who their real parents are. So uh, it seemed very interesting, and um, yeah, I like things about family, and I hope to enjoy them. Heard some really good things about this, and this also has like some shades of orange too. And the last challenge is read a contemporary that is a five star prediction. Let's see, I have. Three books that I believe will be a five star prediction. The one is this Mosquito Land because I heard pretty good things about it and I hope I do enjoy this. Next, I be hope this will be a five star read because I also heard some good things about this and uh, it's a book that I've been wanting to read for a very long time so got that. And definitely, I hope this is a five star read because um, I really love her first book and this sounds interesting and I hope to enjoy this one too so yeah so yeah those are all the books I plan on reading for September and the readathon I hope you enjoyed this video please comment below tell me what you think of all the books I read I mean plan on reading if you read any of them do not spoil nothing you can talk about it a little down below um, please like subscribe and if you want to follow me on social media the links will be down below and I hope I see you again soon bye